Deshaun, I heard you mention Jamaica there and your father uh, in terms of his sporting background. Is there any interest or, from the Jamaican Football Federation in terms of maybe you pursuing an international uh, career with Jamaica going forward? Um, not that I've heard of, but um, I'd obviously be open to it. Um, mm. that, that, that would be good to, to play for them, but as, as from now, I haven't, I haven't heard anything now. And I suppose in terms of your own uh, development, uh, going out on loan uh, from Manchester United, how you how have you found uh, the championship, obviously 15 games in? And I suppose in terms of the gap from the Premier League uh, to the championship, do you think it's as big as people make it out to be? Um, so this season's been, been, been good for me. It's been a good step up, a good test, playing against better players. Uh, it's definitely a big difference from... Uh, uh, League Two, really. Um, that's just down to the the footballing ability of, of of players. You know, you can't switch off. Otherwise, it, it it's a goal. Um, I think the gap between the Prem and the Champ, I wouldn't say it it, it it's massive because there's there's better players coming in in every day. Um, but obviously the the, the Prem the Prem the quality is another step up. Um, and I'm sure everyone's just racing to get there. And in terms of uh, Hull, I suppose uh, Grant mentioned there at the start of the year, he mentioned about uh, the COVID and the injury sort of problems and uh, being to the bare bones in terms of a squad, in terms of what you had available and riding through the rough patches. But as a squad, as a club, you've all stuck together and you've sort of came out uh, the, the, the greener side of it while maybe other clubs maybe panicked and reacted. Do you think maybe Hull's Philosophy of a more calmer approach is maybe coming uh, to fruition now. Yeah, yeah the, the philosophy is, is great here. Um, even when there are injuries, the younger ones are ready to, to step up. They've been um, they've been brilliant in training when when they come and train with us. Um, so and then when they've stepped in, I think obviously Jeff made his debut the other day and and, and did well for us. So each one of them is ready really. Um, mm. But the spirit in in the changing room and around the areas is. It's, it's, it's been high and we just need to keep it that way, really. And I know, Deshaun, you're obviously concentra uh, concentrating uh, fully on uh, playing uh, with Hull City. But uh, just in terms of how, just curious how the loan situation sort of works. Uh, do Man United delegate uh, scouts uh, to come and watch you on a regular basis? And are you aware of maybe when scouts are going to be in the ground in terms of the reports? Uh, obviously, you don't know the reports they're sending back, but are you uh, awareness to say, right, uh, uh, Deshaun, uh, there's going to be someone from Man United there this week uh, tracking your progress? Or how does that start to work as a player? Yeah, um, you know, I keep up to date with us every, every game. Uh, obviously, they've allocated Les Parry and... Um, Danny Keel to look after the, all the loan players. So they speak to me like sometimes twice a week. They give me a phone call. They they come to our game. So they tell me um, how I can improve and stuff. They tell me their thoughts on it on, on it and stuff. So they're always um, keeping me up to date and, and, and looking after me really. So I don't feel left out. And uh, I think they're going to have a, a, a mid-season review with me in the next couple of weeks. So mm. it's just nice to, you know, United are still checking in with me and stuff and updating me. And I suppose as a player, is it important to sort of feel that love and that attention from your parent club all the time in terms of that there there always a, a word in your ear every week just to feel that uh, you're not sort of, dare I say, forgotten about? Yeah, I think 100% it's, it's, it's nice to feel that they, 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 they still um, care about you and support you and, and, and want you to do well, really. I know for some people it can obviously uh, be hard on loan, um, obviously because you're moving away. So it's nice to have the the friendly voice in your ear, um, saying they're watching you and and you're doing well and stuff. So yeah, definitely a positive. Hmm. And I suppose Deshaun, I suppose I I'm not quite sure have you been were you in were you at Manchester United uh, in terms of the previous uh, managerial sort of switch uh, when uh, Ole got the job uh, when Ole uh, before. Ole got the job in terms of movement, uh, in terms of managers. But in terms of a young player, when, there, uh, when there's a, a change uh, in the head office or the change of the front guard, does it have a trickle-down effect to the, the youngsters as well? And uh, obviously, you're out on loan at Hull. If you do come back to an environment now at, at Manchester United, 
do you feel it would be sort of different? Is there always a difference when there is a managerial change for a young player uh, in terms of his parent club? Uh, I'm not really too sure. Uh, we're really too concerned on that, really. Everyone's just concerned on, on, on their development. So as long as they're, they're playing well and training well, that's, that, that's their focus, really. So, yeah. And I suppose finally for me, Deshaun, uh, I spoke to Grant there a few weeks, uh, I, I spoke to him there today, but actually a few weeks ago I asked him the question about how a few wings can sort of propel you up in terms of a tight sort of championship. Now, you start to find yourselves, I think it's a 19 place, but between 19 to say 12, there's very, very little in it. Uh, one or two games sort of swing could see you move five or six places up the table. But for psychologically, for players and the dressing room and for the club, people always say that heading into Christmas to, uh, uh, come St. Stephen's or New Year's, New Year's, where you find yourself in the table is a probably a good reflection of where your season will go. How important for you as players when you look at the first half of the season, maybe if you're sitting in 13th or 14, just to give you that sort of confidence to really push on while obviously the next result, one or two sort of defeats and you're back in 21st or 22nd and then you're looking up the table going into the second half. How important is it to reach that sort of halfway point in sort of a real positive note? 